This tutorial will walk through 3D projection mapping a wedding cake using Siphon out of QLab into MadMapper software. I'll quickly create a queue sequence for a series of video files designed for cake mapping. First I drag the video files into the workspace. Then I'll set them all to auto-follow so that they will play one after the other. I'll also bring in a guide and put it at the top of my queue list, making sure that it has no continue behaviour set like auto-continue or auto-follow. This is going to be a utility asset and we want it to trigger and hold until we manually stop the queue with the escape key. I'll create a play queue and target my first video queue so that when we reach the bottom of the queue list, the process starts again, forming a looping sequence. I'm going to create a new surface by entering the settings via this cog in the bottom right and choosing video from the left menu. I'll create a new empty surface and name it Siphon. I'll make it 1080 by 1080, which are the same dimensions as all my video content. In the Screens panel on the left, I'll assign a Siphon output. I'm going to come out of the Video Surface Editor and click Done. I now select all my video cues and in the Inspector, go to the Display and Geometry tab. In here, I assign Siphon as the video surface. I'll trigger my guide either by hitting Go or the spacebar. If I open MadMapper now, hopefully I can see QLab as a Siphon input. I'm easily going to create a simple rectangular quad with this square icon. If I have the quad surface selected and double click the Siphon input, the surface gets assigned to that input. I can see a little number tag on the Siphon input telling me how many surfaces are assigned to it. In the input view, I position my new quad surface over the input so it sits on top of the portion of the guide that corresponds to a front face of a cake tier. I'll speed through this process because there is a lot of repetition. I'm naming the quads sensibly. Left 1 is at the top on the left. Right 5 will be at the bottom on the right. Don't forget you can duplicate quads and speed up the process. Also, once you have done all the left quads, you can duplicate them all and mirror them over to become the right side. In the end, each tier front has an input surface. Now I'm going to go into Manage Outputs and ensure that there are two projectors listed and create new ones if necessary with this plus icon. I give them each an output destination. One gets the projector on the left, the other gets the projector on the right. My projectors are both the same model and so have the same name, making it hard to tell them apart. However, if I go to Output and enter full screen mode, my projectors start outputting content. Now if I toggle the visibility on and off, I get some visual feedback and I can tell which projector is which. I'll rename the projectors to make it clearer. Drag the right projector to the right hand side of the left projector's output. Now in the preview output view, I'll pull the corner handles of my surfaces to match the corresponding corners of the cake tiers. It can help to turn off the visibility of all the surfaces and turn them on one at a time to map the output. Once that's complete, I can go back into QLab, hit Escape to stop the guide, then trigger my first video queue to start my cake mapping show. If you like the video content I've been using, you might want to take a look at my shop where I sell animations, loops and templates for cake mapping and projection mapping. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. If this helped you, please hit that like button. 
subscribe and hit the bell so you don't miss out on future cake mapping and projection mapping tutorials and videos.